everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Scruffy, and today we're going to discuss, oh, I don't know, maybe cornucopias? <laughs> Thought we'd try a little something new. But specifically, we're going to talk about the question that's on everybody's mind. When game? Well, may have a little bit of heads up in a recent post by Matt in the Major Announcements channel. Now, this is a massive update. Really and truly, you should read it yourself. However, I'm going to touch on a few points that I think are key moving forward that you need to be aware of. If you look right here, they start discussing game loops, and they go on to say game loops are a sequence of programming processes that operate infinitely to deliver an interactive and dynamic experience to the game user. In other words, the primary actions a player takes during the game are what define a game loop. On the surface, the art and animation will merge with these loops and provide what we call gameplay. Uh, they go on to say an example would be if you're playing Call of Duty and you spawn, then kill other players, then die, then spawn again, that's considered a game loop. Now, as we move down the post here, they talk about the initial system game loop, which is gonna consist of utilizing the desktop launcher to log in, you open the game, perform standard pre-game tasks, such as customizing your character, choosing gameplay, graphic settings, and the like. And pretty important stuff to the start of Cornucopias. And something I found interesting here is the desktop launcher and login. Now, it's still in the production phase, but look how many of the, I don't know, subsections are in the MVP production stage. The login registration, download a game, Tamper detection system, that's all one thing, which to me, okay, I, I, I would have thought those would have been separate things, but also basic asset querying, they're all in MVP production. Rounding out, the main menu and character builders are both in early production, but this gives us a feel for how far along they are in the process. Then we get down to the sector pipeline. Solace, which is sector one, is in the final production stage of the art, early production stage of the programming. The art and environment building phase nearly complete for sector one. Once complete, we will begin the land plotting phase, which will include all of the programming necessary to make land plots function. Obviously a key element in the game, as we know land plots are going to be a central figure in how you do everything in Cornucopias. Next we get to Esperanza Sector 1. That one is in early production. They say the Esperanza environment is still underway, foliage, rocks, water, and more being carefully put into place to create an incredible Western-themed world. And then there's Fortune. Still in concept phase, but I'm super excited to see what they come up with for that one in the future. Then we've got the Megadome Pipeline. Toledo Valley Raceway. Sounds like California had a baby with Toledo. Not quite sure how they uh, figured that one out. But anyway, this Megadome is what was used for the early testing in the racing game and at CNF Tcon. So if you happen to be out there and got a chance to play it, this is what they're referring to. They're in the final stages of development and looking forward to releasing early testing to the public in Q2 of 2023. Now, you may have seen that in our roadmap video, link in the description down below. However, here's a little more detail on that. The 3D assets are complete. Landscape design is complete. Billboards are complete. Look how many things are complete on here. Lighting and effects are complete. Here's the other interesting thing I found. Track one two and three in production. So my hunch is, is that when they launch, they'll have one giant mega dome called Kalido Valley Raceway, and they will have three tracks within that dome. Again, speculation, but this is what this says to me. Also got the racing systems in production and performance testing in production as well. Then we get some nice little colorful image updates, some great artwork here. I believe Matt was going on a mushroom hunt or something. So, you know, Mario would be proud there. And also a look at the T1, which was recently talked about in Kopi Cafe. Then we get to the travel pipeline. 
Now, they also recently touched on this in a Kopi Cafe, so I'm not gonna go over it again. You can go read if you wanna see every single step involved. Very fascinating stuff, I suggest you do so, but we're moving on to the vehicle pipeline. Again, a lot of things that if you've been following the project, you probably know already. If you're new to the project, definitely go check this out in major announcements. However, one thing I wanted to bring to everyone's attention is the addition to a new vehicle that, to my knowledge, has not been leaked yet. And that is the Bubble Jet Prima. And they're showing that it's in final production. So very excited to see what that is. Could that be the OG vehicle of this year? We will find out. And rounding things out, we've got the website, education platform, and user dashboard. Not a whole lot to report here as most of these are in early production or planning or planning and design phases, but definitely something to keep your eye on for the future. Hope you enjoyed the video. If so, do me a favor, give it a like. Also, comment down below if you think I left anything out. Make sure and subscribe and turn on bell notifications. And one final thought, shout out to the team for continuing to roll out these updates. More information allows us to make better informed decisions. And there's lots of projects out there that don't give you anywhere near the level of transparency that the Cornucopias team seems to put forward. Just another reason I am so super bullish for this in 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027.